coming all the way over Mr. Truck. That's lightning, by the way. this right keep your eye on the keep your eye on the skies big raindrops just starting to hit from that right Right, let's see what we can do. I'm going to get out here and just be careful here. But uneven road surface because it's road works. Just watch any of these cars don't come out on me. I don't want to be into that road surface either. It's a little bit rancid that. Normally I'd be a bit further to right, but it's, it's fucked up. Now I'm okay. Now we're bimbling now. We're making a bit of progress. At this point, I'm dropping into left hand lane. I've got a better view down the gap. That's a cracking cloud. And that's lightning again. Don't think I've got much carbon fibre on this uh, this bike, which is good. Should we do a bit of this? Yes, we shall. I reckon I've got a motorcyclist down here, which is good. It means I can uh, possibly get to the side of him. Sneak through that gap. This gap. When there's a biker there, we can get inside of him, can't we? That looks like a BMW GS. It is, it's an old Paris Dakar. That's fantastic. Get it up. That's the F650 Paris Dakar. That's in good order. I'm about to get very wet. Here comes the rain. However, it's only my bottom half. I've left my bloody, I've got my jeans, my, my biking jeans, they're full of protection but not really waterproof. My top half, I guarantee you, is very much Gore-Texed up to the eyeballs. The tyres are thankfully scrubbed in now. I reckon I'll get out of this rain soon, it's a bit brighter. Just gonna stagger myself with this bike. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a bit of a draft from that uh, truck, hopefully, mate, on his GS. Nice to see one of them, they're a cracking bike. I prefer the original ones, the black and white Dakars, but only because I'm old school. Let's see what occurs here now. If he goes over, you've got to watch that outside Commodore sedan doesn't come in on us. Like him, now he's moved in, he's moved in on the bike, on the lad on the bike. Now I reckon that fast track truck is also going to come into the left hand lane. They all are. So I'm just going to back off here a bit. I reckon they're coming off, a pair of them. I'm surprised if he stays in that left hand lane, I'm surprised if he doesn't come off now. From the right hand lane, he's gone right across and he's going to come off this slip road. Right, let's make some progress. I'm about to get absolutely soaked. Holy shit, that's hail stuff. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. This is going to be interesting. That's hail. That's hail. That, look at what protection you've got. That is hail stuff. Big hail. Wow. What do you do in that? Jesus. Tucking in down here. Woo! Interesting, I've got nothing behind me now, I've beaten that. They're hitting my legs and they're hurting, even through my pads. Hell! The thing is, not to panic, isn't it, really? That, that's, I have to say, that for hell, in 36 years of biking, I've never had hailstone like that. I'm through it. I can still see hail on the road now, but they were like... They were like golf balls, I felt like I was being shot at. I'm hoping that's it for the hailstone. I could cope with rain. Wow. 
just watch this slip run. Not sure what this Mazda's doing. I'm actually, I don't normally get across this lane that quick, but I'm gonna get in behind him here. Holy moly, that was a bit of a hurting, painful one. Yeah, not, just don't panic, I mean, you're gonna feel the pain, but you're in a situation there like I was on a, on a clearway. You can't stop, you can't hide. You just battle through it, you shoot yourself from the pain and get through get to your journey. You, you're not in a position to stop there. I don't I hope Matey and his GS was alright, because he, he was hiding in the side as well there. I mean, I'm sure he'd have been a bit better off. I had the fortune of having a little bit of a fair in it, and he had all the gear on, he had he had all the trousers and the the boots, but he would have still felt it like I did. Right, I'm going to bimble through here. And when these cars start moving, we'll pick our we'll pick our spot like that one. Wow. Well, I wouldn't wish that on many people. But the flip side is, who they love riding in shit weather. It really sharpens your skills, it's good experience. You can ride in shit weather and pissing down rain. And in that instance, golf balls hitting you. You can do anything. That was quite extreme. 